And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Iceborne Spiders. Let's try this deck again. This is a Callista deck. It's been a while since we played Callista. We just we played the very first day that the new patch happened and Callista turned into a 4-3 instead of a 4-2. Um, so let's let's play some more Callistas. This, so this deck is really focused on making spiderlings. Uh, we have these cards like Brood Awakening. Uh, Vile Feast, Elise, um, Hapless Aristocrat, Crawling Sensation, all these things can make Spiderlings. And then what we're going to try to do is uh, take advantage of Iceborne Legacy. Still not exactly sure if Iceborne Legacy was a buff or a nerf. Um, it kind of feels like a nerf. 5 mana slow speed instead of 3 mana burst speed. Um, where now it gives plus 2, plus 2 instead of plus 1, plus 1 but it feels like it's kind of a nerf, but still it's good enough. Like Brood Awakening was definitely buffed. Now only costs five mana. It's definitely better. Um, but yeah, so like we're trying to make all these spiderlings and then give them, give those spiderlings everywhere plus two, plus two. So every single spiderling that we'd make afterwards would get plus two, plus two. So we're going wide. Um, our creatures are dying, all that kind of stuff. Since we're going wide and having a lot of creatures die, then we can have a very large they who endure. And with a very large they who are in dirt, we can use Atrocity to finish them off. I remember last time that we played this, we were getting pretty fortunate drawing Atrocities at the right time and having lethal Atrocities quite often. Let's see if that happens again. So here we go, Iceborne Spiders. Let's give it a try. Going for a little pick-me-up. Draven Control, we got disappointed with how that was. I, I don't think I played the best, but just couldn't, you know, just couldn't get the wins. This game's not easy. Like, these, these games are always very close. Um, one little small mistake here or there can cost you. It's not an easy game, which makes it, you know, really enjoyable. Oh no! Y'all have to remind me to change the board. I just don't even think of going to board settings at all. This board was really unlucky in the Noxus PNZ deck. We need to get our, our Shadow Isles board. I know just the place. True Fragnorian, welcome. Stay out from the darkness. Stay back. I'll just let them trade with me having another Elise, and I get, you know, I get a 1-1. One, one. Don't want to play anything else and like give them the opportunity to avalanche. Um, in general, this seems like a bad matchup for me. Generally speaking. Because their deck is built on Withering Whale and Avalanche. Like their deck is built on sweepers. See that coming. You dare. My pet. Nas Hatch. 
Let me change into something more. I really wish, like, like, this is like the problem with slow speed, you know, like it's, it's really tough to ever resolve this Iceborne legacy. You know, I really wish it wasn't slow speed. It would be absolutely amazing to resolve it and have my spiderlings be, get plus two, plus two everywhere, but it's just so difficult to resolve it. never going to yeah it would make more sense to have a three mana slow or five mana burst but yeah five mana slow is just this is just never going to resolve the spirit of winter awakens it resolved It resolved. We did it, chat. We did it. All right, and it's turn eight. So they can't have Ruination. So they have to have like their third Avalanche and a Withering Whale. For a sweeper or they could just be playing the box like I have I suppose they could have that that'd be a sweeper but see like once Iceborne Legacy resolves look how powerful that is opponent surrenders they surrender. We want to know. Be pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. I think that was supposed to be Honey Badger. I guess I, yeah, so we're going to mulligan the Iceborne Legacy, and that's it. Keep the rest. Don't really have removal right now. I'm going to keep this. No, y'all, you forgot to, yeah, y'all forget, forgot to mind me to switch boards. I'm telling you, I'm not going to think of that at all afterwards. Please? Where are you? I must get out of here. No, you didn't. You reminded me, like, at the very beginning of the, the match. You have to remind me at the end of the match. You think you're being kind, giving out mushrooms. Clutch elixir of iron. I've 
Yes, Shadow Isles Monsters with the Serene Temple Board. I know, it doesn't fit the best. Um... I feel like we're gonna get Withering Wailed. But if we do, Callista can flip. I must get out of here. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Are you sure you're not a meddler? You look pretty metally to me. No. Hmm. Poor Callista. Yeah, I... I don't think I played the Draven control the best, and just things just things just never worked out for us, you know. Just that kind of that kind of game. See, I was like, whenever I saw like the team, I was thinking this was Professor Von Yip deck, but I guess they would have had Elise also. So I'm I am worried about playing these Iceborn legacies now. ever supposed to resolve Iceborne Legacy these days. Impossibly. No, I meant to block. That was a waste. Yeah, we are very high risk, high reward for sure. I forgot about Karina Veraza. It's been too long since we've played this card. That card's awesome. That card is awesome. Ambition in time.
Okay, do we still have a chance? Not likely. Really wish I would have traded one of those two ones for this chump womp. That chump womp could be out of here. Play more Karina Ver whatever that name that card is. Karina Veraza. You need to play more of that card. The only deck I've ever played that in in constructed. I've had it, you know, in drafts. The only one in constructed I've ever played was like a, you know, Heimerdinger control, but it was just Heimerdinger. For there's no other champion. That card worked well. Oh, yeah, it's sorry, Forks, you're too late. Gosh, see, I'm telling you, I'm just not even going to think of the board at the end of the game, you know, because I, I, all I do is think about, all I'm doing is thinking about, like, the previous game and everything and, and just thinking about decisions I make during the game. And so I'm not even thinking about the board whatsoever. You got to be, got to be earlier. Yeah, even with the delay. I, I can't, it's, it's crazy. You think that, like, me saying it right now or, like, how I was saying it just a little bit ago that I would, I would... Uh, think okay I gotta change the board after this but just subconsciously I know like that right after a game that's all I'm really kind of going over is like what went wrong like what you know decisions I made throughout that could have been different and everything like that <laughs> it is kind of funny that's just that's just what happens you know I like, just think about like how you know how can I be better how can I play better for the next game What are the odds that Iceborn Legacy resolves? Zero percent? My true beauty is Or lower. Like, like yeah, is it is it zero percent or is it lower? Definitely zero percent. It's actually probably lower than zero. Calista's seen three units die. I can use Glimpse Beyond to make it four. <laughs> it can't be less than 0%. Alright, I, I guess it can't. I'm probably right about that. It probably can't be less than 0 Wait, I never had an Iceborne Legacy, did I? Was I just thinking that that card that I just played was Iceborne Legacy? I was. I'm just confusing him. Time for a true display of skill. So you can notice Callista has three um, 
Uh, what would you call those? Arrows? Why does Callista have, like, arrows going through her anyway? But she's got three because she's three out of the four leveled up with that animation. I know I have, like, the atrocity lethal, but... Spears. That's a good word. Spears. I like it. No, it's okay, Sultana. Basically, spider. Yeah. So the question is, why do? Why am I going House Spider, Shadow Assassin instead of Navori, Conspirator, Green Glade Elder, with Yasuo? Uh, basically, Shadow Assassin is one of the very, very best cards in the game. It, it may be the, it may be the, it's either Shadow Assassin or Frenzy Skitter is the best non-champion in the game. Um, just the ability to have an an elusive unit that draws cards. Um, just awesome. It's just a very powerful individual card. Basically, the two cards that I'm playing are good individual cards. Like, drawing card, like, basically replacing itself um, and being a good body, it's just, it's much better than any of the other, those cards, like, the other four cards you mentioned. Shadow Assassin is just something that's individually great. Alright, with that being said, um, <laughs> really? My best thing that died was a 1-1 one -one spider? That's it? All right, good call. All right, Valentino, remind me. All right, trade the board or uh, change the board. Oh, awesome, Bonin. Yeah, the Ventero watch. So yeah, you noticed right away that that's a Ventero watch. Yeah, I really like this watch. It's a good, it's a good blue and brown watch. No, not sponsored, but it's good, good watch. All right, board. Um, equip. And we need our Gloom Tooth. The reason why we're playing the uh, what's our other one? Um, House Spiders, the re Sultani. The reason why we have yeah. So you're you're only focused on things about combo, but yeah, you're just yeah you're just playing flat out superior cards. House Spider is just great against the Go White Aggro decks. It gives you a really good blocker that helps you stay alive. It's something that turn two, you need that blocker. Navori Conspirator is just not a card you can play on turn two if you're not playing one drops, and our deck's not, like, that Yasuo deck's not playing one drops. You need just generally good cards that will help you stay alive and get to the late game and, and things like that. All right, we're keeping a glimpse beyond. Do I want to keep the second glimpse beyond? I kind of do. I maybe should just be keeping the hapless aristocrat at that point. Um, you know, this is Dravenez again. Dravenez, of course, is built on removal spells. Like, that's what their whole deck is about, using removal spells and killing your stuff. And so that's why Glimpse Beyond is so good. It keeps that their removal spell from resolving, so it keeps the Ezreal from leveling up. And also you get to draw two cards. I probably should have just kept the Hapless Aristocrat, though. It's only attacking for one. It's not it's not like it gives that good good of a clock. It's Draven time. I know, it's Dr. Avon time. I always talk about it. I wish I had the ability to cast the box. Right, 
metal. You have to cast something. Don't cast anything. Pass. 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 No. Don't cast anything. Oh man, that's a great rummage. Because they had they had ten cards in there. What I was talking about there is they had ten cards in hand. Uh, wait. Are we two and one now? Did we just win one and now we're two and one? Yes, that just happened. I was too busy changing the board and didn't update the score. Okay. Go to attacks. Attack. Pet the shark's belly. Sharks. Everybody knows that sharks love belly rubs. Yuck. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep them from drawing a card. What? Never mind, they still drew a card. Well, I wish I would have used more Mark of the Isles instead. That's a bummer. All right, do we want to cast the Arachnid Horror or the Crawling Sensation? Crawling in my sensation. These words, they will not heal. I thought you'd never ask. Ezreal's pretty good. Draven out. Watch and learn. Gotcha. Charge. I know what lurks in the shadow. All right, how much mana have we got? Seven. So enough for Brood Awakening plus Glimpse Beyond or Double Mark. Yeah, the the Weenie Aggro deck isn't isn't really like a, a tier one deck, but it's it looks like it'll be fun to play. Um, 
Ouch. Yeah, everyone's playing whale. Um, it's a, it's a don you know the two Ds. It's a donation deck that was a viewer submitted deck. But it's gonna be sweet. Never had this good a hand playing that Draven deck a little bit ago. Making up for all those miss. games we lost. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, they really don't like spiders, do they? So if I glimpse beyond this, then that Ezreal doesn't get shuffled back, so then that just uh, fizzles. Play Brood Awakening next turn. And then playing Crawling Sensation doesn't really make the most sense. Oh, you were beaten by Yasuo last night also? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yasuo deck's pretty decent. It's not. It's not absolutely amazing because like there's just a lot of problems but like when when yasuo works like if you have yasuo turned on and the other person doesn't have removal or anything like that yasuo can be very very powerful i'm so good i surprised myself Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it feels great when you have the right hand. Yep. And when the cards line up. We not only just played at Draven Ezreal and lost all of our games, now we're playing against it. We're losing all our games. They do not need a hexproof mechanic. Hexproof is not an enjoyable thing. No, I mean, my opponent just had all the cards line up really well for them. Like, 
we just played that deck and went one and five. It's not like it's not like their deck's too strong. You had to have all your cards line up, and they did. Like they they had everything line up over and over and over again. Like they win. That's that's okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with get excited. Uh, like those things. I don't grasp it and dying. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like I don't think that's too, those things are too strong. Ezreal is pretty strong as a champion. I think Ezreal could cost, you know, a little bit more mana and be completely playable. There's nothing to fear. So there's going to be future design issues if Get Excited, Grasp the Undying, and Mystic Shot, if, if those don't get it addressed. Like, what, what do you mean by that? Like, what kind of design issues? The Skitter survives, uh, survives Avalanche. So playing it over playing Arachnid Horror that does not survive Avalanche. Sorry, Serenity now says, I'm playing the Jinx Burn deck at the moment. Is it worth crafting two Teemo for it? Or how much difference do they make? Not not much difference. And especially for how Teemo is a champion, I don't think you necessarily need to craft Teemo for that for that deck. Um, if you have Draven, you can play Draven also. Um, but really, you already have, you know, you have what? Like, you have the three really good one drops in Noxus. Um, so Teemo just gives you, like, a fourth one drop. But it's... You know, Teemo's good, but not, like, if, you know, if you're really, you know, if you're worried about the wild card space and, you know, cha you know, crafting champions and everything, I don't think you have to craft it for that deck. Okay, now it's one change in Oh, was I supposed to cast the Glimpse Beyond? I probably was. Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with like one for one removal of just having, you know, like those cards be removal spells. Um I I don't think there's really things wrong with it. I think Ezreal is too powerful. And like I think I think Ezreal is too good, but I I don't think it's like Mystic Shot or Get Excited being too good.
Anivia, no Anivia, something else. Our strength is yours. Cool. All right, we're gonna get this Iceborne Legacy. At least I assume so, unless they have one mana removal, which isn't likely. So we can survive Withering Whale. Because, of course, we'll be able to go straight to attacks. All right, that's... That was a little bit more annoying... Before drawing that glimpse beyond. That was a good glimpse beyond draw. We can sack this so they don't gain the four life. That was a really good glimpse beyond draw. They're going to 12, and then this is 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I don't know why they're... So this I thing isn't working. Okay, it has to put that down first. There we go. It's like, I don't think you can have the game just have no removal spells. Right? Like, you can't, you can't just have no removal spells. But I do, I do understand that their cost needs to be higher than normal because of your ability to bank spell mana. Out of all of them, Mystic Shot is, Mystic Shot is the one that's, that may be undercosted by one. I think Grasp and Get Excited are fine. Um, we're playing against Lux, so Mage Seeker Lux. Let's keep all this. That's not a good draw. I would mulligan file these. Where are you? No, I mean, doing one damage for for that would be bad. I mean, think Blade's Edge is one mana deal, one damage. People hardly play Blade's Edge. But I could see it being three mana deal, two damage. I don't know. It's it's right there. Like three mana deal, two damage is kind of that's kind of difficult as well. It's right there on the edge. That card's pretty great. I don't I don't know how I beat a 5-5. Five, five. Tough. That card's pretty great. It's definitely the worst one for me to see. Ooh, maybe if it was just slow slow speed. Nothing, nothing else changed about it. It was just slow speed. Contain the arcane.
I'd really like to draw Iceborne Legacy right now. Darn, that didn't work. It's just the trade-off we have to make to kill that thing. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. That was almost really, really bad. Oh man. I had a heart attack there. Oh no. Wow. Okay, that was almost so bad. Whew. Sorry. That was... That was intense. Hey, MTG No No. Let the light guide you. I'd follow you anywhere. Of course you would. Let me change into something more. Come together. I really don't know like how I'm gonna be winning this game. Like I just I just don't know how these cards are getting through. Like what I'm doing to win this. Yeah, I could see them having a backup Lux. Interesting, so they just didn't even play their final spark. 
made me waste my mana. Still would have really liked to have Iceborne Legacy this whole time. Iceborne Legacy would have been good. Control the mage to control their magic. I trust my instincts. No sympathy for sorcery. This is even a good attack. Just can't ever get four through four mana six fives. All right, we don't we don't really have any chance to win this. Nah. I play the box. If I'm them, I'm detaining my own thing. Well, we do have a chance to win this. We just have to draw they who endure. Right, like that's, we have to draw they who endure and have the they who endure atrocity combo. We have the three they who endures. We got three of them, right? Yeah, there's three of them in here. They who endure, where are you at? So yeah, basically this game, they who endure would have been really good. Iceborne, um, Iceborne Legacy would have been really good. This would have been a great Iceborne Legacy game if we would have had that one earlier. Hey Owen, yeah, I changed my name because I didn't want any specific game in my name for my stream name. So I took the MTG out of my stream name. Just don't want to have any any game in it. still win this if we draw they who endure even though it doesn't doesn't seem like it so basically the box would kill this 5-3 and they would get an and they would get a random elite um, i don't know if that's worth it i don't, I don't know what else the box is ever going to do but it looks like we're never going to draw they who endure we're not that lucky Kill that thing. That 
That's 16 damage. It's lethal. So Mage Seekers are pretty good. Pretty good. So I need a mulligan more. I don't, I don't know. I just need to draw Iceborne Legacy. I think that's that's the card I need to draw. That like they don't have very very good instant speed interaction. Really need to draw that card or a they who enter. Those two cards were my two most important cards, and we never drew either one. This is a bad matchup. This is the all... Like, assuming this is the all Withering Whale Avalanche kind of stuff. This is going to be a tough matchup. No, it's definitely not a mirror match. I mean, they're playing Trindamir Thrash. Like, they're. It's definitely not a mirror match. But. What do I know? Maybe it's a mirror match. Um. So here's the problem. I want to Vile Fee so that I can. So I can get a Spiderling so I can Iceborne Legacy it. The problem with that is if they are playing Iceborne Legacy, which I have to only assume that they are, if they're playing Iceborne Legacy, then I don't have interaction for their Iceborne Legacy. They only got four mana this turn, they can't legacy this turn. So I have still the one mana where I can Elixir of Iron, protect Elise from Vile Feast. That was just a big mistake attacking with all those firelings and letting all of them trade. I don't know. What's that noise? There's nowhere to hide. All right, this card is in our deck. I wasn't exactly sure if it was in our deck, but it looks like it is. That was a pretty horrible turn for me. I wish I would have just gone straight to combat. Wow, that went really, really bad. Wow, that went really, really bad.
Yep. That went bad. Wow. That went super bad. Really bad. Who would face me? Eleven mana. One short from doing all three of these. Now what is going on? So they're gonna have two Trindomirs. I have a neighbor that really likes using their hedger. They really enjoy doing that. If y'all can hear that, I'm sorry. I don't know if you can or not. Messed this game up so bad. I mean, it was it was that turn that I tried vile feasting. Man, that was not a game I should have lost at all. This game's difficult. difficult game sometimes things work out sometimes they don't that that turn I tried vile feasting just we just got annihilated that turn that was the difference in the game yeah cuz I didn't yeah I mean I guess I just didn't really think of them playing glimpse beyond and then Archer I mean I wanted I wanted to do that cuz then I was going to play the Iceborne Legacy on on that extra spider so that then I could attack with Elise and make another thing. But everything just went completely wrong. I don't what am I even doing here? Lucian and other stuff? I don't even know what we're doing. Just get rid of those cards. Give me new ones. That's all I, I mean that was my plan was get get the spiderling, play the Iceborne Legacy on it, have Elise attack, but it just ended up being the worst plan possible. I know what lurks in the shadows. This is mercy. Hmm. 
No, I mean, well, the the Spiderling would have been a 3-3 with Iceborne Legacy, and then whenever Elise attacked, it would have made another 3-3. And they would have been 3-3s for good, so they wouldn't have been trading with their 1-1s. How they were going wide and everything. What's the plan? We shoot them. This game's never easy. Senna? Why'd I have to play Senna? I have to have a three mana thing that had four power. Now I can flip Lucian. I can't deal with a flipped Lucian. What am I supposed to do about that? We did get up to number seven, Tensor. Do not fear the shrouded path. Missed a chance to run. Flipped Elise can take over. That's my hope and a prayer that Flipped Elise takes over. Nope, we're dead. Well, we were good for a little bit. Lucian is really cool. This is the first time a creature dies, they gain rally, so it's good to kill it pre-combat, because now, you know, they rally, but so they they're not gonna get a second you're attack step. Dead. You're adorable when you're angry. Protect and strike. Do not deny me. I'm surprised Senna's not even epic.
Just block here, go ahead. Really? That block, they just left themselves dead. They does not know about Overwhelm? Gotta make them block. Gotta make them block. Oh, well, we just cheated out a win right there. That was not a win that we deserved. They Who Endure can, can win some games, though. We haven't had the They Who Endure atrocity combo at all throughout these eight games. And I remember last time whenever we played this, we had that like four or five times in, in the ten games that we had that combo all the time. This is that atrocity they who endure combo. We just don't want it this early. We want it later on. We want to draw into it. Lady Elise, where are you? That egg. Did it move? Please, I have connection. I just did that verse at Demacia Bannerman deck. Somehow I did not count that 9 plus 3 makes 12. Turns out it does. Yep. Turns out it does. Third deck's gonna be playing cards like Withering Whale and stuff like that. Just gonna kill my spiders. Correct. Commander Ledros is not a champion. Champions have the gold have the gold symbol down here and have the gold border. Um, you know, other cards don't. You know, like that's how you can tell the rarity. Um, blue is rare. Purple is epic, and then green uh, greens are common. Champions have. Like, there aren't very many champions. Should have done this last turn. No, I haven't played League of Legends.
So I just drew that card, so I played that, but of course my plan was to play the Crawling Sensation. Honestly, I probably sh I should've just played Crawling Sensation anyway, instead of Elise. I should've just played it. Yeah, I should've just played Crawling Sensation anyway. All right, Calista's gonna flip. So now whenever Calista attacks, brings back the frenzied skitter. So the real question is if I want to play Play they who endure right now or wait. I think I'll play it right now. I'm not expecting ruination, that'd be bad. I don't know exactly what that was about. So we'll see, trying to finish this game out. Okay. So tap down. So the Frenzied Skitter is gonna die. Right now they'd be going to 11 with all of this. And 
now they go down to six. So I can't really kill them. Now they go down to two. Too much life gain there. You know, they just gained 10 life. Double, double Withering Whale with Karma is gross. That's why I think that Karma is always the best in Shadow Isles. It's just so good. That's probably game. I'm not sure why did I just want to pass. I mean, I think blocking the 2-1 gets them, gets them that thing out of here. Obviously, if they have more wither withering whales, I'm dead. Like, if they just have another one. I think they've played two so far. Played that one. Didn't they play one earlier? Yeah, they played one earlier. Did they play another one earlier? No, they played two so far. They can't have another one, otherwise I'm dead. Nope. Don't be withering well. Just take this. Negative 17. That's fine. They surrendered! Yay! No other Withering Whale. They're like, alright, I'll take this. Ne negative 17 is not bad. That sounds good. It's a prime number. All right, back to Draven Ezreal. Good last match for our deck. We're one and one against Draven Ezreal so far. Uh, it it depends. I wouldn't say that attacking before spells is typically is or like. Yeah, I mean it. It all depends on the the situation and everything. I guess typically, probably, probably attacking before spells is correct. Probably, um, but you know you have to think about the spells that your opponent's playing for attacking. You know, like, like right now, you know, I could either play a spell or I could attack at three mana, which I guess this does more damage. Or like, I guess they both do four. Like, you have to think about what kind of spell they're gonna have. Like this. Opponent's deck is probably playing in a bunch of instants and sorceries and stuff like that. Okay, well that was a card that completely punched me. So you do have to think about like their deck. Like the more the more um, units that they play, the worse you are for um, the worse off you are for. Uh, for playing stuff first. The more spells that they play, maybe you're better playing more things first because if they're just going to be playing a bunch of sp spells for interaction and... Thanks, Tensor. Let's 
No attacks. Alright, well this game's gone horribly for me. <laughs> yeah, Animal Crossing? You didn't like the Animal Crossing the other day, Tensor? That was a that was a fun game playing Animal Crossing for a night. Okay, your daughter did though. There you go. No, I don't think Elixir of Iron, one of these things to try to kill Draven, it would work at all against a deck filled with direct damage spells. Like they would just you know, use a mystic shot or anything and you know they could have even that that spell they just played they could have used that with like a spinning axe on the draven i don't i don't think that blocking the quick attack with how much damage they have and everything i don't think that would be a worthwhile plan Again, I could use Elixir of Iron, but they can just use Spinning Axe. Oh, or they got rid of their Spinning Axe. Yeah, we can't we can't really block Draven and profitably ever. That's not a thing that's gonna happen. Kind of like an infect creature. Yeah, they they would have to be at super low mana. Yeah, they'd have to basically have zero mana and not not many spinning axes in hand. So if I mark of the Isles here, that basically means that they don't get to attack with Draven. So I, I spend one mana and like I spend a card to just not have them attack for three and get a Spinning Axe. That doesn't sound like the most useful thing.
Do I trade Arachnid Horror and Mark of the Isles for Draven? No. Right now we need those they who endures. We need two of those. We need to draw a they who endure for this atrocity and one for this atrocity. So I'll sack my ephemeral unit so we still keep this thing in play. But I don't think they get any targets with this. So I think Ezra will still be at 5 out of 8. Still have 5 cards though. You suck. Obviously I wish we didn't use the Mark of the Isles as well. We did just trade 3 for 3. Wasn't like a particularly great trade for us. But they didn't get any bonus on the Ezreal. Two Dravens are gone. Because the regular Draven and the Whirling Death. That was a great card. Where's our they who endure? Those who endure. We can never draw that card against the removal decks. Like these removal decks, we need to draw those who endure. I mean, it's we have three of them. It's our top end. I'm so good, I surprised myself. We just can't draw that card.
Our deck would not be any good if we weren't playing Iceborne Legacy. Iceborne Legacy is a card that makes our deck a lot more powerful. It is very difficult to pull off, though. But I think we'd want to switch the deck up completely if we weren't playing Iceborne Legacy. Like, it, we'd change a lot of things about the deck. You know, we wouldn't be playing Hapless Aristocrat and Crawling Sensation and these kind of cards at all. This Draven Control deck has just broke my heart today. You know, like, we couldn't win anything with it. And then, so immediately afterwards, do they just keep playing against us and, and killing us with it? Fire. Both games that we played against it, too. It's like, if we just have those who endure, like, we'd, we'd really have a shot if we just had those that those who endure. But we just can't draw that card. Yeah, it's pretty fair that it was stronger immediately after patch, and right now people are more ready for it. People are ready for these go-wide decks right now. Like, there's a lot more Withering Whales around, for example. Sure. So obviously I lose if they have any spell whatsoever anyway, so might as well not try to play around any spell whatsoever. I mean, well, there is no playing around any spell. Yeah, they're enduring in the, the bottom half of the deck. Okay. So yeah, we, you know, we just can't draw that card and draw atrocity. We, we didn't a single like they who endure atrocity combo we never had that any game at all our last time that we played this we had that combo quite a bit just could never draw that 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 was a lot of games that we we're just hoping to draw they who endure and i think one of them where we need to draw atrocity but all right see you tensor um but yeah there we go uh that's the Iceborne, Spiders, uh, Callista is still not, like, the most powerful. This deck's probably better with Thrasher, Hecarim, honestly. Probably Thrash. Like, it's it's probably just better with Thrash. Like, you know, like, we've been trying, like, the Callistas and everything, but we actually got to flip Callista twice and attack with a, a flipped Callista twice today. That's two more times than what we did last time, but it only brought along... It brought along a frenzied skitter one time and a spiderling that was a one one the other time. It's like even even if we actually flip Callista, it's still not too good for the us. So yeah, I think I think Thresh is just a better card than Callista. But uh, Callista's cooler. Well, just different, more different. But anyway, um, yeah, Iceborne Legacy does just feel like a nerf. They they said in the patch notes that they, they said that they wanted to buff Iceborne Legacy, and so they made it a 5-mana plus 2 plus 2, but the slow speed just really nerfed it, honestly. Which is sad, because they said that their, their intent was to buff this card and give it a plus 2 plus 2, but turning into slow speed really did nerf it. This this would have been so much... Like, it's just, it would just be so much better if it was 3-mana... Every they all get plus one plus one in burst speed. Um, 
Anyway, there we go. There's Iceborne Spiders. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, hit that like button and leave a comment. Go ahead and do both of those. And of course, if you want to see your deck on stream, it's a $10 donation in the uh, info on the YouTube channel. There's a donation link. Uh, you can send your deck, you know, just put, put the code of your deck uh, that you want me to play. Or if you just have a deck idea that you want me to build um, put that in there. Just $10 donation. All right, but that's it here for Iceborne Spiders. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.